All right, today on The Daily Buzz, new twists in the death of Sons of Anarchy star Johnny Lewis and the murder scene he allegedly left behind. What went wrong with this promising star? And did his TV cast try to reach out to him to help him? Plus, how is his ex-girlfriend, Katy Perry, reacting today to the tragedy? Then our matchmaker weighs in on Hollywood's love connections. Who should end it now and which couple could be walking down the aisle? I'm excited about that one. And Disney star Debbie Ryan is in our studio, revealing the surprising next phase of her rising career. It's all next on The Daily Buzz. Katy Perry is reportedly devastated over the death of her former boyfriend, actor Johnny Lewis. Welcome to The Daily Buzz. I'm Dylan Howard. Now, police believe on Wednesday the 26-year-old killed his 81-year-old landlady and her cat before accidentally falling or jumping to his death in the driveway of the home where he was living. So these are the latest developments in this story. The show's runner of Sons of Anarchy, Kurt Sutter, took to Twitter to say that he, whilst he was saddened by the death, he wasn't shocked by it. And it's being reported today that Katy Perry is devastated with the news. Now, the couple dated from 2005 to 2006. Perry's longtime best friend, Raising Hope star Shannon Woodward, tweeted this message yesterday. Johnny, I love you deeply and madly and always my heart is broken in a million little pieces. I will miss you every day. She also added, Johnny Lewis was one of my best friends. He was very, very ill. His actions were a despicable result of that. It was not who he was. To discuss more on this tragic story here in our studio, Celeb Buzz News Director Andrea Simpson and licensed psychotherapist Dr Nicole Mize. Andrea, now Lewis had just been released from prison before the grisly murder of this 81-year-old landlady. He had a troubled, a troubled history over the last 12 months. What do we know? That's right. He had been arrested three times at the beginning of this year uh, before the incident. He was arrested for battery, assault with a deadly weapon, and attempted burglary. And it had been reported that he was just released from prison before the murder. Indeed, I was reading uh, from the LA Times, there was a report that the probation officer involved in one of those cases had actually said this, I've got this statement here, there are significant issues which should be addressed. This according to the probation report. Obviously the defendant's behaviour is out of control and needs counselling afforded by a professional. Now, this strikes at the very heart of what's wrong with this story. Here is an actor who clearly was let down by the justice system. He should have been helped. A judge should have locked him away. A judge should have helped him. Instead, the victim in this instance, an 81-year-old woman, is dead. Other people have been assaulted and the justice system has let society down. Dr Mice, is that the case? Well, I mean, I definitely think that this was someone who, based on his past behavior, was crying out for help. I mean, desperate, desperate for some type of help. And, I mean, I think one thing that we're seeing with the uh, potential drug allegations um, sure. and everything in between, I think I'm not even sure he was in his right mind when this I, actually happened. I think it's probably certain that he wasn't in his right yeah. mind. And there is suggestions today that he may have been on the drug commonly referred to on the street as smiles. Now, we just spoke to the district, uh, I, I should say, the coroner here in Los Angeles a short time ago, and Ed Winter, who is the assistant coroner here in Los Angeles, said that Johnny Lewis's cause of death remains deferred. He said he had no idea at this point if the actor was on smiles or any other drug. Toxicology reports will take about six weeks before we know that. Dr Mice, what is smiles? It's this new designer drug that we're seeing on the market. It has hallucinogenic properties to it. So if he was in fact on smiles, chances are, I mean, God knows what might have been going through his mind if he was even aware of what he was doing. And I think, you know, Andrea, you spoke to uh, someone very close to this uh, victim, the 81-year-old person, who said that they had no concerns about Johnny and he'd only been at this house for a couple of days, which goes to show, Dr Mice, that clearly he was acting normally and then all of a sudden a sudden change in behaviour. Yeah, and when we see that sudden change of behaviour, that's when we're automatically assuming, OK, something else must be going on. Did he introduce a new drug into his system? Uh, what suddenly caused him to snap and change? There are new. There is new information coming to light about 
his troubled past and the fact that his parents are both Scientologists who had actually tried to get him help previously. And they also are victims of this. They tried desperately to try and get him the help that he so desperately needed. Of course, they couldn't convert on that. Do we know, though, whether any cast or crew had actually tried to help him in recent times? You know, uh, we don't know that at this point, but what we do know is that, you know, some some smaller cast members have, have tweeted their support, uh, but, you know, Katie Seagal and, and Charlie Hunnam, they, they have not done so. They're, they're keeping mum right now. Right. And, of course, Misha Barton, we reached out to, to her camp, too. She's travelling at the moment and didn't have any comment to make. Of course, Johnny was also a star on the TV show The OC, which was a hit back a number of years ago. Dr Mice, it's, I mean, inevitably when there's a murder in Hollywood and it involves someone in the underbelly of this city, it is catapulted into international spotlight. Um, in this particular instance, we have a, a star who was addicted to drugs or, or clearly introduced to drugs. Is there a higher propensity for people in the industry to be attracted to things like that? Well, I mean, it's really hard to say if there's a higher propensity. We're definitely far more aware of it because of the media attention that this gets. But what we do see in my field is a lot of individuals who do what we call self-medicating. Mm. So they're struggling, whether it's because they've come under stress, because they've got another mental health issue, uh, personal issues, you name it. And so they turn to different medication, be it prescription drugs, non-prescription drugs, and use it as a way of coping. It just doesn't always really help them in the end. Yeah. All right. Well, this is a tragic story. And uh, somehow I think this is not the last we've heard of it. We'll certainly be hearing more details as they come to light. Thank you very much, both of you, for coming in today. All right. For more of our investigative reports on the Johnny Lewis tragedy, head on over to the website, celebbuzz.com. When we come back, we're playing matchmaker to the stars. When we come back. Thanks, guys. Bye.